Hi, I'm Chris from Mac and Safety. Uh, today I'm going to demonstrate uh, the use of the jet freezer on a 25mm pipe feeding a fire hose reel. Uh, this fire hose reel is defective, um, it's open to the ocean just next to us, we're in a building uh, in Newcastle. Uh, so yeah, it's heavily leaking from the drum and very corroded around the handle. Um, the feed comes off the domestic system here, so with everyone working at home at the moment, uh, it's just not feasible to isolate the water for the amount of time it takes to change this reel. So I've gone for a freeze method. I'm going to walk you through how I actually do that, and uh, it could be beneficial okay, to you. So I've just uh, connected the bag up to the thread on the front, um, and I've connected it to the CO2 supply. So that's a CO2 gas we use for, for this bag here. Uh, what I'm actually going to go do now is remove this fire hose reel and prep the uh, new fire hose reel. Uh, so we're just leaving that valve there connected to the supply and uh, then we'll get our freeze underway and, um, and uh, change that valve over. Alright, so I'm going to undo the shoelaces here and uh, fit our bag to the pipe. Um, so th I just want to say that this is a static water supply, so it um, should be pretty easy to freeze. Um, I like to try and fit the bags just before an elbow, if you've got one in the pipe that you are freezing. So just simply wrap the bag around the pipe. Just fit your shoelaces through. It's a bit of a around with it. So get the bag nice and straight. There's a Velcro tab here you fix off like that. Nice and straight because you want to create a seal. So when the dry ice starts forming inside, it minimum leaks out. Just tie it on like a shoe. Try and get it as tight as you can without busting the bag. tight you will get a little bit of leaking each side um, but that's good it won't over pressurize the bag with your uh, gas supply okay. that's our bag set off on the pipe there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and just crack this valve just slightly, just so I know that I will be able to get it once the pipe is frozen. Uh, it's just like a little trick I like to do uh, because you can get stuck where you've got the pipe frozen, you've got 10 minutes or so uh, for that block to thaw, uh, when, you know, unless you want to keep topping it up with your gas. Um, I like to run the gas for five minutes. Uh, five minutes will uh, form a uh, block inside there. Um, and it'll give you about 10-15 minutes of freeze time before that block thaws and shoots through. Uh, the, reason, the reason behind going before an elbow, if that block does thaw and slip, uh, it will create a restriction in that elbow and you won't have the full force of that water coming through. It'll just start sort of spraying in there everywhere, but it won't be the full velocity of the water in that pipe. So I'm going to go activate, uh, I'm going to go uh, crack this and then activate the gas. I'm going to set a stopwatch for five minutes. After five minutes, um, I'll open that valve 
to ensure that, uh, just crack that valve, just to ensure that the freeze has taken place. Um, and then we'll go ahead and change that valve. And that's it, done. No interruption to the portable water supply. Now we're done here. We've got a drain just around the corner there, so I'm just going to test the hose reel. Get that, that uh, frozen out. 
but also give the job to the job area for the clean as well. There we go, block stored. Water's running. Okay, so there we have it. Job's done. No interruption to the uh, potable water supply in this building. And uh, that's it. Jet freezer does up, uh, does between 20 and uh, 42 millimeter pipe. Uh, it comes with the hose and the bags. So excellent bit of kit in my opinion. Uh, it's, yeah, it's, makes life a lot easier, especially with clients and stuff. So hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.